after the video was made, we discovered this old footage that was made in 1973, and I just I just love seeing this. You can uh, you can see the difference in my studio when I'd only been working for a couple of years. Uh, it's definitely a low tech version, and actually I think I look a little low tech back then too. Those were the goblets that I made for 16 or 17 years before I stopped doing them. And at this point, in 1973, I'd barely begun to learn how to do them. It was still uh, a sort of a mysterious art to me. The quality of my glass, too, is way different. It's fun to watch these because I see all kinds of equipment that that I learned later on how to build better equipment and, and make it work better. I later learned how to make better quality glass that didn't have so many little bubbles in it. But my bench, my tools, my blowpipes, all are the same. The same, I, I actually sit today at the sa that same bench that I was on back in my studio when I uh, lived in Connecticut. Here I'm using an old wooden footing tool to uh, to put a goblet foot on. This was actually a, a hard thing to do uh, because the wood would burn out and so each foot that I'd make was a little bigger than the one that I'd done just before. You can see that stem begin to bend as it gets hot, but I needed to get it that hot in order to make sure that the bowl was hot enough. I loved working here. I, uh, I worked completely alone and there were times when in the summertime, I'd sometimes, uh, I'd sometimes work from 11 o'clock at night when it started to get cool right until 6 o'clock in the morning, and then I'd sleep for as long as I could uh, and uh, then start work again the following evening. These goblets uh, were so much fun for me to make. It really helped my skill level because they had to be done so carefully and so precisely. Um, and... All I really wanted to do was make something that was completely functional, something that could hold wine and not weigh very much and would be just a perfect wine goblet. I could blow a hundred goblets in a row and not get one of them right, but being able to do that day after day, I didn't have to make much money and, and my furnace didn't cost much to run, and so it was a it was a good time for me. One of the funny things is that because these were hand blown, I would consider them to be sets, even though they didn't actually match very well. Sometimes they I considered anything that matched in height to be a set. In the front of this, uh, there are some pieces, some vases, and right to the right, there's that uh, there was a a paperweight with a flower in it. That's the beginning of planets. <laughs> 